Good afternoon. Uh, as I said since few days now, our top priority remains the uh, situation in our uh, senior residences. We are deploying more professionals from the hospitals to the residences, but we're still lacking staff. I'm asking everybody available, every health worker, to come forward and help us. I appeal to your sense of duty to help us protect the most vulnerable. We need you. Uh, we will also experience caregivers to help their loved ones. But apart from these identify caregivers, visits will remain forbidden for the other ones. I also want to make sure families of the residents are kept informed. That's why I ask that there be at least one person in each residence in charge of communicating with the families. We uh, will also start today publishing a, a, a list of residences where the situation is under surveillance. I know the situation is tough for everyone, but it will get better. It's very important to continue our efforts. That's how we'll save hundreds of lives. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Um, you repeated, Mr. Arruda, how many weeks you haven't seen your family. And Mr. Legault, you said many times, I haven't seen my, fa my, 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 my two sons, and I cannot go to uh, the birthday of one of my sons. Um, how do you react about the fact that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau crossed the border this weekend to spend the long weekend with his family at his cottage when you have such a reaction of Quebecers uh, and other citizens in social media saying, well, I mean, ba the success of these measures, restriction measures, are based on the discipline of Quebecers. What do you say to Quebecers today that say, well, if Prime Minister Justin Trudeau s did that, I'll do the same thing? Lynch. And 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 I think you know uh, I'm I'm not uh, following everybody here. There is probably other persons doing that kind of uh, of, of thing. I just hope that there are maintaining I would say some distancing uh, aspects of of this. But I think it's uh, it's really uh, the answer of the prime minister is the best one. Is you have no comment on this, uh, and I would say. It's not because somebody did something, you must do it. Eh? And, and in fact, try to, to respect the things. But uh, so I cannot comment about the comportement of, a, of the premier, pre uh, actually. Since last week, you, you've been uh, announcing mitigation measures to help CHSLDs, for example, um, being really hit hard by the outbreak. Now you're sent, yesterday you sent a message to people that would be interested to become orderlies. Today, anyone in the health system that would like to help, please come. What's the importance of your messages, Mr. Legault, about the severity of what's happening, the situation that you're asking people to come forward, but it's not an obligation, but they want them to get the message that the crisis is is really high in CJSLDs. Yeah, yeah I, I think the crisis is, is important. Uh, we follow very closely 41 uh, residences uh, where there are many cases and it's not easy to uh, get all the personnel. And I, we can understand that uh, some people uh, from the staff are infected and some are scared about getting infected. So we have a situation where you need courage to go there, but we need to get people. For example, the teachers teaching uh, uh, medical uh, sciences, uh, for example, in our colleges, we're asking them to come and help us. We're asking specialists, even if uh, we won't use uh, their science about their specialty, to come and help 
as a uh, normal worker because we need them. We need all the staff possible. We need nurses. We need doctors. We need all the personnel having the expertise to help us in CHSLD because even before the crisis, the uh, jobs that were posted weren't filled. On top of that, we have all the people that are not coming to work, so we really need to have some people with expertise in uh, medical science to come and help us in CHSLD. Thank you. Next question, Samuel Pouliot, CTV News. Um, hi. Um, yesterday, while you were doing this press conference, we are hearing that there was only two employees for the entire uh, Heron uh, senior home. Um, do you know what's the situation right now? Um, is the care adequate and are the families uh, getting all the information they need? But they told me that it's under control now, so they must have the uh, right number of staff. And uh, the federal government says that the Canadian Armed Forces Medical Corps could be called to help uh, in senior homes uh, if the provinces need it. Uh, did you get in contact with them? Yeah, yeah we're asking them how many uh, people with the expertise in health care can uh, be uh, sent to us, but uh, we're still in discussion with them. Okay, so you're, you're asking Thank you. Help. But we are asking about the number of people they have. Thank you. So the next question has been sent uh, by email. Uh, from uh, It's a question from uh, Raquel Fletcher, Global News. Uh, can you give us more details on the plan to ask teachers to work in healthcare? Will they have the choice? Uh, what will they be doing? And what impact will that have on reopening schools? But first, uh, I'm asking them. Uh, I ask them for their help, so I would like that they come, even if they are not forced to do so. So uh, we need them. It's a question of uh, duty. Now, uh, as you can imagine, the uh, number of teachers teaching medical sciences are a limited uh, number of teachers for all of the different uh, sectors. So uh, yes, we may cause a, a small problem uh, eventually, if we reopen uh, these uh, sectors, but I think right now uh, the situation it is urgent. And uh, I just want to say that uh, the exercise being done by uh, region, so the CIS, or the CIS are being in contact with uh, uh, the school board or the college, and uh, they're organizing. Uh, uh, the uh, the teams and uh, it could be nurses or teachers in nursing but also uh, different uh, like social workers in, in social work in uh, occupational therapy even administrative uh, uh, staff also thank you and as a second and very last question what could the federal government do to better uh, to protect residents of uh, retirement and long-term care homes but, uh, like we said, we are asking them questions about the number of people with expertise in the army uh, about uh, medical sciences. So maybe that's a place where they can send us uh, some workers, uh, but I don't see any uh, where else. And I just received also a question from uh, Phil Oti, Montreal Gazette, uh, for Mr. Legault and Mr. McCann. On a daily basis, uh, there are sad stories about senior sick and dying in residence. What will the government uh, do to better protect our seniors? The Parti Québécois says uh, we need an ombudsman for seniors. Well, uh, I think uh, the priority is right now right now to get more staff, uh, that's going to be key uh, to give the care and to relieve the, some of the, the staff that has been there since the beginning, uh, and uh, to take all the measures uh, that uh, has, has been recommended by different experts, but also uh, to put them uh, in place. But that's what we're doing. They're already in place. Uh, we've talked about it to you. Uh, to to have those zones, uh, uh, the, the hot zones and the cold zones, and that also, if we have more staff, we're going to be able to have uh, people uh, devoted to 
uh, some units, and they won't go from one unit to another or from one establishment to another. And I want to say this is really uh, tragic. It's a human a tragedy, what's happening right now. It's very difficult for the families, and it's very difficult for the staff. We're losing uh, some people that are very dear to us, and uh, we won't uh, stop at anything to really, really protect them. We know that there are people that are very sick who are in long-term facilities and that are very fragile, so we will do everything we can to protect them. And the second and last question is also for you, uh, Madame Mekan. We are hearing stories that the promise help for CHSLDs is not arriving fast enough. Madame Marguerite Blais was on the radio today asking for des bras. Uh, why is the bureaucracy slow uh, so slow to act? Well, we're getting there because uh, I think uh, we, we've uh, uh, organized the uh, in, uh, incoming of um, uh, people who come from the education sector. And as I mentioned before in French, uh, we have les entreprises d'économie uh, sociale. We have uh, hundreds and hundreds of people that will come and help us. And this is in short term. So we're organizing very fast. We're doing everything in a very fast way in this uh, crisis. And I think we're going to get those uh, those added people that will relieve uh, the staff uh, that is there right now. So thank you all. That's all the time we yes. have. Merci tout le monde et à demain.